Hello people, um, I'm here to do a quick video. I just got up and last night as I was going to bed late at night because I was up last night doing some things, um, I got a word from uh, Maranatha, the Lord is coming and it just amazed me how Yeshua worked because I just did a video yesterday about counterfeit revivals and I get up uh, last night I'm talking to Yeshua and he gives me counterfeits on page 156 again. Counterfeits coming from uh, Maranatha the Lord is coming. I mean, he gave me this word. Uh, let me see if I could find it here. You know, so we got a lot of fake news going on. Uh, we got a lot of counterfeits coming. Uh, and I and I just funny, I just saw this last night. That word there, counterfeits, counterfeit counterfeit you know uh and so uh i'm just going to be talking a, a little bit about um counterfeits uh coming from ellen g white uh what she has to say about it okay I, we, looking before me on the screen you see i'm gonna sh play two short videos coming from royals direct uh news on prince william and i'm telling you guys we are uh we are we getting ready for a real ride we got a lot of fires going on in California right now. People getting evacuated all over the place, thousands. Um, I will put those links down below in the description box, but I'm just doing a short video now. I will come back today, hopefully today, to do a missions report. Uh, but I just had to come out and do this before I get going for the day. I've been praying for you and your families. I am hoping that you guys are keeping prayers over your doorposts. I'm telling you, and blood over your doorposts. Because we're going to see a lot of things happen before us very quickly. So I just had to come and do this video. So I'm going to play these two short videos by Royals Direct. Uh, and then I'm going to read uh, Counterfeits coming from page 156. And may or not that the Lord is coming. William has arrived in Jordan for the start of a trip that will see him become the first member of Britain's royal family to pay an official visit to both Israel and the Palestinian territories. The 36-year-old Duke of Cambridge touched down in Amman for a first leg built as a chance to bond with Jordan's Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah, 23, a fellow graduate of Britain's Royal Sandhurst Military Academy. He was given a warm welcome by the heir to the throne, Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah, stepping in for his father King Abdullah of Jordan who is currently on a working visit to Washington, D.C., accompanied by Queen Rania after disembarking his official British government plane shortly after 4 p.m. local time. Blue skies and blazing sunshine greeted the prince for the start of the trip that he is said to be very much looking forward to. William, who wore a navy suit, white shirt, and sky blue spotted tie, will be traveling around Jordan, Israel, and the occupied Palestinian territories on behalf of the British government. Dozens of soldiers stood to attention in front of the British and Jordanian national flags, signifying the hugely important visit which Kensington Palace has said will build relationships which will last for decades to come. William looked relaxed and smiled broadly as he walked alongside the crown prince down a red carpet which had been rolled out to welcome him as he stepped onto the tarmac of the Queen Alia International Airport in the Jordanian capital. This afternoon, William began his trip by learning about the Crown Prince Foundation, an initiative of the heir to the Jordanian throne with a tour of Fab Lab, designed to enable young people to explore advanced technology. Okay, and I have another one here um, that she just did. Okay. Build how his wife is saddened to be missing his trip to Jordan as she really loved the country when she lived there for three years as a child. The Duchess of Cambridge has not accompanied her husband on the trip as she is on maternity leave following the birth of their third child, Prince Louis. Speaking to a charity boss who knows where the Middletons once lived, the prince said, she loved it here, she really did. She is very upset that I am coming here without her. The prince visited the Jewish archaeological site this morning and was photographed at the same spot where his wife was once pictured playing when she lived in the country as a four-year-old. Organizers of the prince's visit had placed a large picture of the Duchess of Cambridge as a child, where she was pictured with her father, Michael, and younger sister Pippa, some 30 years previously. William, 36, 
was walking with Jordan's crown prince Hussein, 23, when he spotted the large photo, a copy of which was released to the public just before the Cambridges married in 2011. The second in line to the throne made a joke about his father-in-law, telling the crown prince, Michael's looking very smart in his flip-flops. He posed for a picture at the same spot, telling photographers, we'll have to bring the kids next time. Samaya Kari, director of museums at the Jordan's Department of Antiquities, guided the two princes around the sprawling site during a half-hour tour. She said, he was very surprised when he saw the photo he did not expect that. But that's why he was here, because he wanted to take a photo at the same spot where Kate was photographed. The Duke spent last night watching England v Panama on catch-up at the home of the Crown Prince of Jordan in Amman, after asking journalists traveling with him on the plane, on pain of death, please don't tell me the score. Following a relatively relaxed start to the trip, later today Prince William will begin a historic tour of the West Bank, the first ever official visit by a member of the royal family to Israel and the Palestinian territories. He will meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the West Bank city of Ramallah at a time of widening rifts between the two sides. At a reception at the British Embassy in Amman last night, Prince William praised the historic ties and friendship between Britain and Jordan and revealed that his wife the Duchess of Cambridge spent almost three years in Jordan as a child when her father worked there for British Airways. Kate's family moved to Jordan in May 1984 when she was aged two and her sister Pippa was just eight months old. She went to an English-language nursery while her parents were in the country for almost three years, before they returned to Berkshire in 1986. The Duke said she was very sorry that she was not able to join him on the trip so soon after the April birth of their son Louis, later gushing about how much she loved living in Jordan as a child. William met Ronnie Amalki chief executive of Save the Children in Jordan, during the evening reception at the British Embassy. The charity boss said she knew the house where the Duchess lived while she was in Jordan because it is now the home of her children's pediatrician. No way, the Duke replied. She will be thrilled. She loved it here, she really did. She is very upset that I am coming here without her. Kensington Palace has underlined the non-political nature of His Royal Highness's role in common with all royal visits overseas, but the region is a minefield of sensitivities. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict typically looms large, even during largely ceremonious visits, and the Duke of Cambridge will have to maneuver carefully to avoid missteps. Last week, an Israeli cabinet minister complained about the royal itinerary's reference to Jerusalem as part of the occupied Palestinian territories, calling it a distortion of reality. Meanwhile, the Palestinians claimed the trip was an indirect apology for Britain's role in the region, reports The Telegraph. Today he toured the ruins of the Roman city of Jerish and met with children, including Syrian refugees, from a UN-run education program on the second day of a five-day tour of the Middle East. The children greeted the prince in the amphitheater of the Roman city of Jerish, where they showed him some of their artwork. Israel captured East Jerusalem from Jordan in the 1967 Mideast War and annexed it in a move not internationally recognized. Israel considers the eastern sector, home to sites sacred to Jews, Christians, and Muslims, as an inseparable part of its capital. Palestinians seek East Jerusalem as the capital of a future state they hope will also include the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Hanan Ashrawi, a senior official of the Palestine Liberation Organization, said she welcomes William's visit to the West Bank as a chance to see Palestinian reality under Israeli occupation firsthand. This visit is the first of its kind and represents an opportunity to enhance relations between Prince William and the Palestinian people on all the levels, she said. William is visiting a region where three decades of British rule between the two world wars helped establish some of the fault lines of today's Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Britain's withdrawal from the region after World War II led to the eventual establishment of Israel and Jordan. Jordan's ruling Hashemite dynasty has strong ties to Britain. The second marriage of the late King Hussein was to a British citizen, Antoinette Gardner, who took the title Princess Muna and is the mother of the current monarch, King Abdullah II. 
Hussein, Abdullah, and Crown Prince Hussein all attended Sandhurst, the British Military Academy, as did William. Okay, guys, um, that's it. Um, just wanted you to see that because we're getting ready to go through some things we've probably never seen before. And I have another message coming from Byron, uh, Byron Seeley, uh, I think Mike444. He does videos uh, of Byron's uh, messages. He have a new message about judgments on the lands uh, coming from Byron Seeley. And I will put that down in the description box, but I'm not going to play it right now. But we need to be paying attention, guys, paying attention, okay? So I'm going to read here now from Counterfeits, and I'm going to let you go. I don't want to make this a long video. So uh, it's amazing how Yeshua gave me this this morning. Uh, and just amazing all these things coming on the earth, counterfeit, the counterfeit, the word counterfeit. Uh, and I know we're going to have a lot of counterfeits coming. Uh, Yeshua told us already, uh, you know, that the Antichrist and the uh, uh, false prophet, they will be pulling down uh, miracles from heaven. I was reading it yesterday in Matthew 24. Uh, we're going to have a lot of things going on and it's going to look like right. It's going to look like Christ, talk like Christ, walk like Christ, whatever. They're going to, uh, you know, do all these counterfeits of Christ. Uh, but you want, you need to know who the real Yeshua is. Uh, the father, you know, our God of who made Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we need to know the real one and not the fake one. Okay. Because it's going to be a lot of fake stuff going on people. Uh, as they have all the fake news going on right now, you know, around us, fake news everywhere, fake news. Okay. So, uh, we need to be understanding, uh, what's, what's coming and know the real deal, the real counterfeits. Okay. Uh, because that's the word I saw this morning was counterfeit, counterfeit. So I'm going to read it now. Counterfeit. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Could I do this here real quick? Make it really out there. Counterfeit. Okay. Counterfeit. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even have to cover this up. All of, I can cover all of it up. Counterfeit. Counterfeit. So I'm reading counterfeits from page 156 from Maranatha. The Lord is coming. Uh, Father, be with me as I read this word to the people from your one of your messengers from years ago, Father. Her words are so true for the day. I mean, affecting us today in prophecy. Uh, all the prophets going around uh, from Daniel and John and um, Michael and, um, you know, just all the prophets, um, Jeremiah, um, Ezekiel. Uh, we have so many prophets been sounding the alarm, uh, helping us to know that you are coming soon, Father. And these things going to come before us. All these counterfeits going to be showing. All these false prophets going to be showing. All these false, uh, just everything, uh, who, what, everything that look like Yeshua, it's not going to be Yeshua. And so we need to be understanding what's coming, Father. Help us this day. We ask that your Holy Spirit come now, be with me as I read uh, this message here in the name of Yeshua. Thank you so much. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. Um, it says here, counterfeits, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8, 20. The people of God are directed to the scriptures as they safeguard against the influence of false teachers and the dis delusive power of spirits of darkness. Satan employs every possible device to prevent men from obtaining a knowledge of the Bible for his plain utterances reveal its deceptions. At every revival of God's work, the prince of evil is aroused to more intense activity. He is now putting forth his utmost efforts for a final struggle against Christ and his followers. The last great dis delusion, the last great delusion is soon to open before us. Anna Christ is to perform his marvelous works in our sight. So closely will the counterfeit resemble the true that it will be impossible to distinguish between them except by the holy scriptures. By their testimony, every statement and every miracle must be tested. The man who makes the work in a miracles the test of his faith will find that Satan can, through a species of deceptions, perform wonders 
that will appear to be genuine miracles. Satan is a cunning worker, and he will bring in subtle fallacies to darken and confuse the mind and root out the doctrines of salvation. Those who do not accept the word of God, just as it reads, you hear that, people? Just as it reads, will be snared in his trap. Evil angels are upon our track every moment. They assume new ground and work marvels and miracles in our sight. Some will be tempted to receive these wonders as from God. The sick will be healed before us. Miracles will be performed in our sight. Are we prepared for the trial which awaits us when the lying wonders of Satan shall be more fully exhibited? Will not many souls be ensnared and taken by departing from the plain precepts and commandments of God? And given heed to fables, the minds of many are preparing to receive these lion wonders. People, a lot of lion wonders are coming. Like I just said, fake news, counterfeits, people. Okay, we need to be awakened, 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 okay. We must all now seek to arm ourselves for the contest in which we must soon engage. You hear that? We must soon engage. Faith in God's word prayerfully studied and practically applied will be our shield from Satan's power and will bring us off conquerors through the blood of Christ, the blood of Christ, the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. We need to understand this is where we're at, people. This is what's going on before us. You think that William just going to, uh, you just think he just going over there to have a little, uh, a little vacation. You think it's just a little vacation they doing, people? Uh, we need to understand what's going on, okay? It's really, really, really quickly before us. Yeshua is warning us through his prophets, through uh, Ellen G. White, have many sins. A lot of people thought it was for her day, and we know we believe it's for our day. All these things she written for the end times for our time. And so we need to understand it's time to sound the alarm, people. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up, okay, and do what we can while we can for the master. I'm going to go now. I'll be back with another video late today. Uh, I ask you guys to have a blessed uh, a Monday, but I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. But I'm telling you to watch the things going on. Uh, don't be uh, sleeping. Don't be. Uh, we need to be sober and not sleeping, not drunken with wine and alcohol and booze and dope. We need to wake up and give our life to Yeshua HaMashiach, give our life to the Messiah, the real Messiah, the true Yeshua, uh, you know, our Elohim, our great God of all gods, our great King of all kings, and who's going to rule forever and forever. We need to be giving our life to him today, people. So uh, I will try to post a few uh, news articles down below in the description box, but I want you to look at uh, Brian Seeley's uh, message just came forth. Uh, through Mike 444, and I will put that down below as well. Uh, so you guys have a blessed Monday. I'll be back soon. I'll see you soon on another video. Sh Shalom, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Shalom.